Here I am, back again with another Redux video. I plan to do the same idea with Interstate 57 later on. But anyways, Interstate 59 was constructed in 1986 and runs 306 miles from Wausau, Wisconsin to Bloomington, Normal, Illinois. In terms of history, there isn't much. It was originally planned to end at I-72 in Decatur, but that was shelved in favor of a southern terminus at 55 in Normal. However, 39's earliest routes can be traced back to the invention of the system when Illinois requested a route going from South Beloit to Salem, where it would likely end at I-57. Interstate 39 begins at a trumpet interchange with I-55 in Bloomington. From the start, it is concurrent with US Route 51. A few miles further in Kappa, 39 meets Illinois State Route 251, which was the original Route 51 before 39 was constructed. Further north in El Paso, 39 meets US 24. In Woodford, 39 meets Illinois State Route 116. In case you haven't noticed, 39 mostly travels through farmland and small towns for about its first 100 miles. But anyways, in Winona, I-39 meets Illinois Route 17. A few miles later, 39 meets Illinois 18. In Oglesby, 39 meets Illinois 251 again, as well as Illinois 71, which eventually connects back to I-180 in Hennepin. From here, 39 crosses the Illinois River and exits with US 6 on the other side in LaSalle, Peru. Afterwards, 39 meets Interstate 80. In Troy Grove, 39 meets US 52 and then meets US 34 in Mendota. It also meets US 30 in the literal middle of nowhere. In Rochelle, I-39 meets not only Illinois Route 38, but also Interstate 88 and the Chicago-Kansas City Expressway with it. I-39 meets Illinois Routes 64 and 72 before entering Rockford. In Rockford, 39 and 51, which has been concurrent with 39 this entire time, starts a two-mile concurrency with US-20. However, they lose the concurrency, but then gain a concurrency with Interstate 90. The three have a few more exits before meeting Illinois 75 and South Beloit, where US-51 exits the concurrency. From here, I-39 and I-90 continue into the state of Wisconsin. Immediately after crossing the border, 39 and 90 meet Interstate 43 in Beloit. The two also meet State Route 11, State Route 26, and US 14 in Janesville. Later on, they cross the Rock River and then exit with State Route 59 in Newville. They also begin concurrency with US 51 again north of Edgerton. That being said, they lose concurrency with 51 again just east of Stoughton. In Madison, 39 and 90 meet US Routes 12 and 18. A few miles north, 39 and 90 pick up a third interstate, I-94. The three continue north and meet US 151, US 51, and Wisconsin Route 19 on the north side of Madison. South of Portage, the three cross the Wisconsin River. In Portage, 39 breaks off from 90 and 94. Now on the only segment of I-39 that isn't concurrent with another route, 39 meets state routes 33 and 16 before becoming concurrent with US 51 again on the north side of Portage. In Endeavor, 39 meets Wisconsin Route 23. It also meets state route 82 outside of Oxford. 39 also meets Route 21 in Coloma and Route 73 in Plainfield. In Stevens Point, 39 exits Route 54, becomes concurrent with US 10, meets Route 66, loses concurrency with US 10, and then crosses Lake Dubay. In Mossini, 39 meets State Routes 34 and 153, and then meets its end at an interchange with State Route 29 south of Wausau. While this is the official end of I-39, US 51 continues north at interstate standards up until Merrill, and is an expressway all the way up to US 8 at Hefford Junction, so who knows, maybe 39 will be extended north someday? Anyways, thanks for watching, and keep an eye out for our next episode of Interstates, the last of Season 1.